If you want to know which fraction is larger here, 5 eighths or 7 sixteenths, there are a few ways you could do it. First, you could just divide 5 by 8 on your calculator, get a decimal, then 7 by 16, get a decimal and compare them. You find that 5 eighths, that is the larger fraction. You'd have a larger decimal for 5 eighths. So that's one way to do it. The other way is to get a common denominator. Right now we have 8 and then 16. So if we could get these to be the same number, we could just compare the numerators and we'd know which fraction's greater, 5 eighths or 7 sixteenths. So let's do that. 8 times 2, that would equal 16. So then we'd have a denominator of 16 for both of these. But we can't just multiply the denominator by 2. We also have to multiply the numerator by 2. 5 times 2, that's 10. And 10 sixteenths and 5 eighths, they're equivalent. They have the same value. For 7 sixteenths, we already have 16 here in the denominator. So let's just write that again. Now, since we have the same denominators here, we can compare the numerators. And you see that 10, that's bigger than 7. So 10 sixteenths, that's larger than 7 sixteenths by 3 sixteenths. And since these are the same here, 5 eighths, that's also larger than 7 sixteenths. This is Dr. B looking at what fraction's larger. 5 eighths or 7 sixteenths? The answer, 5 eighths. Thanks for watching.